What's going on everybody? I'm Primal Liquid and welcome back to my 100% grandier walkthrough. Guys, we're on part number 26 right now and we're just going to finish off the uh, the Twin Towers and then we're also going to have probably one of the saddest moments in the game. It's, it's going to be really sad to be fair. It, oh man, it's, it's one of them that... You can you can kind of see the hints of like throughout the game. You kind of you do kind of see something like this coming, but oh, when when it actually happens, the feels, dude, the feels are emotional, and we're probably gonna see it this one. To be fair, either either this one or the next one. I, I don't know. Like it's gonna be it's gonna be one of the two. But for now, anyway, we are going to go ahead and finish off the twin towers. Now we are gonna do we are gonna do some fights simply due to the fact you know we actually uh, we still have some leveling to do. However, we are gonna do this as we were doing before. So Sue and Gadwin are on with Jaw. Justin and Fina, they're on manual simply due to the fact you know I want I want some levels, man. I want some levels. It's like I might as well gain some, although I probably will change back to, you know, just using normal attacks eventually. Because, chances are, I'm going to get magic blocked again, and hopefully this time it won't be, um, it won't be as bad as it was before, I hope, I really hope. You know what, I'm going to try Helnado. I'm going to hope that we can actually just one-shot them, but yeah, look at, how, look at how slow Justin is there. I know, I know I mentioned this in the previous video, but like, one-star spells are so slow. Whereas look at Fina using digging with the uh, the eye accessory. Right, it's won. like it is such it is such a massive increase in speed. Realistically if I was gonna use Hal Nodo, I probably should equip that on Justin. You know, just to save a little bit of time and I just realized I'm going the wrong way. I want I want the gold. You know what I'm just gonna ignore the enemies actually. In fact what level am I? What level am I? Uh, moves, Fina, level 3 Earth. Ooh, yeah, I should probably still use her Earth. And Justin, 23 Wind. Eh, you know what? We're going to put everyone on manual just to sort of speed this up. And then we'll put, uh, we'll put Fina on manual. Yeah, that's, that's what we'll do. Extra strength, definitely on Justin. Oh, wait, no, I didn't use that. Whoops. I ended up giving each team instead of using it. There we go. Okay, he's got the extra strength now. Honestly, really not that important with what's gonna happen later. But hey, you know, the extra the extra strength is nice, for sure. All right, let's find out which door I need. Uh, I think it's the, yeah, it's this one. Shoulda, shoulda known, shoulda known. Oh man, right, uh, hang on, where am I? Where am I? Uh, Huh, I'm like, hmm. Oh, okay, there I am, there I am. So I'm at the, I'm at the bit that's kind of like an arrow. Yeah, I got, I got completely turned around there, I'm not gonna lie. All right, let's just change the uh, auto battle again. Oh, Fina got hit, really. Of all, of all the people to get hit. Of all the goddamn people. All right, let's just set them all to play fair. At least this way, you know, they're just gonna, they're gonna murder them pretty damn quickly. Right, this will probably end the fight, to be fair. Yeah. Wait, what? How did Sue miss? Okay, Sue somehow missed there, and I don't, I don't understand how. I probably should use Tremor, though. It probably would be faster to use that, to be honest. At least at the moment, anyway. But then I suppose it doesn't really, it doesn't really matter too much. So like with what we, with what we have coming up. Mm, then again, no, because lovely, lovely area for Fina is gonna get really, really slow for a long time soon. Hmm. I think we'll just gain a few levels for now. Yeah, for now we'll just gain a few levels and we'll go we'll go from there for sure. Cause I mean I don't really I don't really need high earth magic for Fina for a while yet. So I suppose really it's not that terrible. Hmm. Yeah, we can we can make do about that for sure. Like, it, it's not going to be that important, so i just got to avoid all the enemies, because I don't want to get ambushed again. Right, do I go up or down? Um, I suppose, I, I don't think it matters here, actually. Uh, oh, man, this is this is the part I hate. Like, out of, out of all the mazes, this is the part I really, really hate. Uh, okay, 
kill. There's the broken wall. Okay, so it's not a breakable wall. It just flips me to the other side. Right. Right. Okay. Um... Well, there's the angel dart. I don't know if I want to use this though. I mean, it is it is stronger, and it well it does restore HP during attack. Sure, why not? Sue is now immortal. Sue is now just straight up completely immortal. All right, let's get the last few. Uh, let's get the last few gold bags, and then we're basically done. Yeah, we're done. At, we'll be done actually. So like, once we get the last few gold bags, we're done. Like right now, we're we're done. Actually, wait, did I did I miss one? I might have missed one, actually. Uh, if I have, though, it's only going to be up here. I'm just trying to think. Uh, no, I, I don't think I've missed one, actually. I'm pretty sure I got it. Did I get this one? I did get that one. Okay, sweet. So I do have them all. Right, with that done, uh, Twin Towers is now finished. Which means we can go for the, uh, the sad moment, unfortunately. Oh, man, this, this part's going to really suck. I've kind of been, I've kind of been dreading this part, to be honest, like, it's, it's one of them, you know, it's, it's one of them, it's a real sad moment, it's kind of like, you know in FF10 where, like, Ty just discovers the truth about Yuna and the pilgrimage, it's, it's kind of like that, to be honest, it, it really is kind of like that, it's a real, mmm, mmm, one of them moments, for sure. But, let's go experience it, shall we? Since the Twin Towers is now done, which means we can go back to Gumbo. And then, something is going to happen, which is going to send us back to, uh, to Dieter Village. And then we're kind of fucked from there, basically. <laughs> Alright, come on, buddy. I want to go, I want to go home. Yeah, we're back already. Yeah, I'm going to spend a little more time here. No, you just wanted some alone time, man. But yeah, sorry, we need to, we need to go, buddy. We need to go. What's wrong, Justin? You're the best sailor in Gumbo, right? Listen, we need to go somewhere to the east of Gumbo. If we go east, there's only the Sea of Mermaids. Oh, but remember, Nina, we got something very, very important to do. Oh, is it what I'm thinking, Danny? You're right. We've got to get back to Gumbo for a very important matter. It's just as well. So let's go Gumbo first. Watch you two gathering. We'll discuss the details in Gumbo. Please get the ship ready, Dander. Here we go, man. Here we go. Sad moments ain't coming. While we're back in Gumbo, we take you anywhere other than the Sea of Mermaids, our brave couple. Yeah, they chickened out, man. They chickened out. Dando, where should we go on our date? If it's just the two of us, anywhere is fine with me. And with you, Nine, as long as we go together, I don't care where we go. How sappy, man. How so very, very sappy. Yeah, we, we don't want to disturb you two. Let's go, Justin. Yeah, let, let's leave Let's leave the lovebirds alone, okay? By the way, Gadwin, what in the world were you saying about the Sea of Mermaids? Hmm. This time of year is called the mermaid season. When the mermaids are active in the eastern sea, that's why the ocean is called the Sea of Mermaids. I myself have never actually seen a mermaid, but they are said to be creatures that take people's lives. Yeah, but then also, eating the flesh of a mermaid grants immortality, so, you know, you'd think they'd kind of be haunted. Haunted? Hunted. I got that in the end, guys. That's a mermaid, I'd rather have a different image of them. Well, we have to cross the sea. Lieta, he said, proceed east across the sea. But there might be a way to cross the sea during mermaid season. The Elder of Dite would know. Mm-hmm. Alright, let's go back to Dite. Mm-hmm. What's wrong, Sue? Oh, you know. Guess I'm really hungry. Are you really okay, Sue? Sure, I'm fine. Yeah? Alright then. What are you all doing? Let's get back to diet right away. Mm -hmm. Is she really fine? Is she really, really, really fine? Or is it a port on? Find out next time on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. Oh man, I need to I need to finish watching Dragon Ball Super actually. I definitely need to finish watching that. Right, all the way back to Diet Village. It's a really long track for an eight-year-old, but let's go see what the Elder knows, shall we? Alright, so I think the Elder's house was over here somewhere. Uh, what's that? Yeah, Elder's house. There we go. I knew it was somewhere around here. Hello, Mr. Elder. How are you, buddy? Well, it's Justin, hero of Dite. I haven't seen you for a while. I thought you were training with Gadwin. 
Please, this hero stuff embarrasses me. It's been a long time, Alder. We've come to ask about the old ruins outside of this village. I was sure there's an old ruin that can send you anywhere you want to go. Thought it was around here somewhere. Hmm. To go anywhere you want, eh? I know the mysterious vanishing hill. There's a little shrine where the hill starts. It's got some ancient gizmo that can send you anywhere. You know, ancient technology always amazes me in games. It's always like super over the top mystical and that with like super abilities. Even here, you know, it's just like casual teleportation. Kind of kind of sad that there's nothing like that in real life when you think about it. Imagine if like there was ancient technology that is just above and beyond like batshit crazy compared to what we have these days. You know, not, not that, like, uh, the Egyptian pyramids were built by aliens or anything like that, but something like, um, I suppose we kind of do have something like that, actually, the mystery of Atlantis. How they had uh, a mystical power source that was just, like, technologically far superior to, the, uh, like, anything that they had. The city floating on water with never-ending energy. Hmm... Could be kind of cool, to be fair. Justin, I'm feeling rather tired. Couldn't we wait till tomorrow to go get the orb? Yeah, let's let's rest here today. If if Sue's not feeling very well, we need to we need to rest. Justin, uh, I. Oh no, she's dead, man. She's dead. What's the matter, Sue? Are you all right? So, answer me! So! Oh no, she's burning up with fever! Yeah, it should have been our fever. This isn't right, Justin. Quick, take her over to Alma's place. Yeah, let, let's take her to see the doctor again. She's all worn out. This little girl has been on a very demanding trip, it seems. Yeah, quite a, quite a demanding trip for sure, you know. We, uh... Well, we explored around home, we crossed the ocean, we explored all around there. We climbed, a, like, a massive wall that no one else has ever climbed before, and then we've explored all of this continent, too. You know, just, just a casual Saturday afternoon. <laughs> Justin, has Sue said anything to you about her being so tired? She didn't want the rest of you to treat her like a child, no doubt. And Gadwin, to think you are with them. How foolish. Aw, oh, Gadwin's in trouble, guys. I'm, I'm sorry. Shame on me. Yeah, shame on you, Gadwin. It's not Gadwin's fault. I was the one. Mm-hmm. You should have paid more attention to the little eight-year-old child with you. I didn't realize how tired you were getting. There should be no more of this for her. She's got to stay here and recuperate. Hey, Justin, listen. I'm fine now. I can go to a you-know-that place. No, you can't. No, you can't. But, uh... Yeah, okay. I was thinking the same thing. Yeah, see, Justin, like, you you were slowly, you were gonna slowly put uh, your own adventure, like, in front of Sue's needs there. That's kind of, that's kind of fucked up, bro. That's kind of fucked up for sure. Yeah, we'll take it easy for today. Not just one day. She must rest till the next full moon. Yeah, casual month. That, that's fine, right? That's fine. Oh, well, then we'll stay till then. After all, we can't leave a kid like Sue behind all by herself, can we? I'll just wait here, Justin. Just you guys should go. Huh? But we... You heard me. You know how much I hate being treated like a child. Well, unfortunately, Sue, I'm afraid to say you are a child. You guys go again and I'll be fine here by myself. I think she's mad, guys. I think she's kind of mad. Yeah, we should, we should respect her feelings. Let's leave her here. We'll, we'll go without her. It's okay, Sue. Don't don't worry. We'll be back before you know it. Right, so, unfortunately, we have now lost Sue from the party. And I've gone completely the wrong way there. But yeah, we've now lost Sue from the party. So, unfortunately, we are going to be down to a three-man team. So, straight off the bat, Fina's digging is going to be much worse now. It's going to be way less EXP. But also, we don't have Sue's, like, batshit insane levels of damage, unfortunately. So, now, well, we kind of just have to make do, you know? We, we kind of just have to make do. Right, okay, so, let's go get everything, shall we? And for now, there's actually not too many items for us to grab, to be fair. Uh, free max HP, we all know who that's going on. It's going on the hero of the show. Good old Justin. 
And then we're just going to casually run around. Now, I am going to do a few fights here. Because if I'm not mistaken, we should actually be gaining pretty, pretty decent EXP from these mobs. So, let's give that a try. I'm going to use Tremor with Fina. And then I'm going to use Howl Slash with Justin. And then I'm going to get Gadwin to attack. Because if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, I could swear that these guys actually give pretty decent EXP up until around like level 35, 40, somewhere, somewhere around there. I don't know though, I can't, I can't completely remember. Uh, where am I? Uh, Hell Slash. Alright, let's just see, let's see what happens. Hang on, was that three enemies on the ATB there? Is that three or is there two? There's three, there was one hidden. Okay. Right, so let's, let's see how much EXP we got there. So, it was three, three, one in terms of the hits. So how much did Justin get? Justin got 9, so that's 3 EXP. Fina got 24, so that's 8 EXP. And Gadwin only got 1. Well, that does stand to reason, because Gadwin's sword is level 50. But I am actually going to try a uh, a Dragon Cut with Gadwin. Because that should actually give us a nice chunk of EXP. And I'm going to use uh, Fire Whip with Fina as well, actually. Just see where, see what we get with that. Yeah, you'll never get away. Okay, well, low damage, but, you know, it's Fina after all, and I've not leveled her Earth, so that stands Come to reason. Alright, let's see how much Gadwin's ah, Dragon Cut gets. This should be quite a acceptable, maybe. It's going to be 8 and 4, isn't it? It's go It's going to be 8 and 4. I can already see it coming. Justin, yeah, let's just attack with Justin. Oh, you know what? I need to... Oh, man, there's, there's the odd hat at work. That teleportation is so good. It basically means he's never going to miss an attack again. It's like, even even if the enemies trap him, or the allies trap him, he can still get there. Yeah, pretty, pretty bad EXP still, unfortunately. So, looks like we will not be grinding here, unfortunately. Oh, well. It is what he says. Alright, can Justin learn? No, he can't. Okay, so it's going to be... Right, I know, I know when that's going to be, unfortunately. It's like I feared... It is definitely like I feared, unfortunately. Oh well, what can you do? With this, we've finally gone half the journey. Well, we have to hurry it up. I'm worried about leaving Sue alone like that. Yeah, we, we need to worry about leaving Sue alone. Right. So, now we're on a little bit of a puzzle. But it's really not that difficult, to be fair. We kind of just have to, you know, run through everywhere. But again, pretty straightforward. Although I am going to use a Dragon Cut here. And a Hull Slash, actually. And again, Dragon Cut, there's no point. Uh, I will use Howl Slash, though. And I'm also going to use Tremor with Fina. And then Gadwin. Yeah, Gadwin can just hit, I guess. Then again, Justin was only getting free XP, so it's not really worth it for him. Uh, where's Tremor? Tremor. There we go. Use it on the middle one. And we should hit everything here. We should hit everything. I hope. Come on. Come on. I did hit everything, but I didn't really do any damage. Right, so let's just murder the frogs. Centipede things. I don't know, what what are they? Like what what actually are they? Hmm. Alright, you know what? Let's just put play fair back on. It's like, we're not getting much EXP here, so we'll just rely on auto attacks. At the very least, Justin will get some weapon EXP, which is actually a good thing. Because I do, I do want to get his weapon close to a level up. Not actually getting a level up, I just want it close to one. Alright, there's the silver key. Oh yeah, I forgot about the little buttons. Oh man. Hmm... So I don't think I need to do anything down this side now. I think I just need to go back around to the other side. Yeah, I'm almost positive I just need to go back around to the other side now. Dude, I love that odd hat. It's so good. So, so good. It's like it makes any attacker just super good. In fact, you know what? I would actually be best off giving that to Gadwin. Um, along with the uh, the warp gem. Uh, warp gem. I'd be better off giving it to Gadwin along with the chain gem. Because Gadwin is quite slow, and he deals more damage with a normal attack. 
So I suppose if I really wanted to, you know, like, um, min-max like that, then Gadwin would be the one to go for. By the way, pay attention to the uh, the art on the door. It's kind of a, a little hint about what's coming for us, but we're not going to do that just yet because we still need to go this way, unfortunately. It's like we still need to get more keys. Those keys we were getting basically just open up doors for us. Which is, you know, kind of kind of standard for a key, as you all are well aware. But yeah, it's just one of them. So there's no point going down the middle path just yet. Oh shit, I need to go down the middle path. I need the key for that door. Crap. Okay, yeah, that, that's my bad. That's my bad. I should have just gone down the middle. No, I wanted to avoid the fight. God damn it. Oh well, it is what it is. At least there's only three of them, so they'll definitely... No, there's four. There's four frogs. Okay, well, everyone's dead, so it's fine. But yeah, I'm just gonna leave play fair on for now, to be honest. It's like, I don't... I think we're at the point now where we're not really gonna get much EXP until... It's gonna be the... It's gonna be the forest, yeah. It's gonna be chameleons and alligators, unfortunately. But for now, let's have a boss. Yeah, let, let's do a little boss fight. I don't think I'm going to farm the alligators too much, though, to be fair. Yeah, pretty pretty straightforward boss, this is. Um, he does have a lot of AoE attacks, though. And since you are down a member, try and, try and keep that in mind. Also, he'll have this... Okay, well, yeah, he has Burn Flame as well, by the way. But he does have this, like, eye laser beam attack, which is basically like a straight line. And it does a quite a bit of damage. So if you haven't leveled up water quite a lot, then do do be careful on that one. But again, like this this boss does just sort of focus on AOE damage. So you could use um, you could use evade to spread your characters out, and then you should be you should be okay from that. To be fair, but good EXP at least. Not for weapons or magic, mind you. Like we're we're way over that, unfortunately. How much further is the summit of this mountain? Quite quite a ways, man. Quite a ways. Hey, Sue. Puffy's looking a little weird right now. You're not taking your medicine yet? I told you, this medicine works fine. It works as soon as you swallow it. Me? I couldn't swallow that. I feel sorry for it. Well, you're just tired, so a little rest and relaxation. Recovery should be very quick. Dude, the doctor wanted her to eat a giant lizard. How on earth is an, how on earth is an eight-year-old gonna swallow that thing? In fact, let, let alone an eight-year-old. How on earth is anybody going to swallow that thing whole? I tell you, man. I know you've just been staring out the window for a long time now. What's troubling you? Am I really just a kid? Yes, yes you are. Dr. Almer, isn't Justin kind of selfish? Leaving me behind like this. And now he gets bigger and bigger all by himself. You know, at his age, the boys shoot up like weeds. Girls, they blossom like flowers. You'll be growing up in another five years. Another five years, huh? Until then, I'll I'll just I'll just uh oh I don't know. You'll be fine, Sue. You'll be fine. Don't worry about it, girl. The summit shouldn't be too far away. This right, we'll reach the summit in no time. Yeah, let's go, Fina. Let's go. Let's go get all the good stuff, shall we? So we got it. We got to get a lot of the good stuff, man. It's just remembering which way I actually need to go. Uh. Hmm, I feel like I've missed something, maybe. Have I missed something? Uh, no, I guess I guess I haven't missed anything. Hmm. Oh, well, never mind. If I haven't missed it, I haven't missed it, so it's fine. That's all we need to worry about. Oh, no, the puzzles. I forgot about this one. Although, hopefully, I can just leave them alone and we'll be fine. Yeah, there we go, it's dropped. Right, let's try and let's try and sneakily grab the key. Just trying to avoid as many fights as we can to make this a little bit faster. Well, that didn't work. That did not work at all. At least there's only two of them. So it shouldn't take too long to just murder them. And then we're gonna lose something precious to us. We're gonna lose something very, very precious, unfortunately. Ooh, Gadwin's actually about to get another sword level. It's only taken since Typhoon Tower. All the way since Typhoon Tower, man. Yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna drop down there, by the way. Yeah, be careful of that little drop. It can it can sneak up on you. 
Oh, it's gonna make me. No, it doesn't. Nice. Oh, god damn it. Yeah, let me down, let me down. It's like I've already got the key from up there. So now... Uh, yeah, now we just need to go along the right side. And that's gonna be... Yeah, that's gonna be it. That's where we're gonna get the orb. It's quite a nice short area when you think about it. Just a shame about the music. I'm not I'm not a big fan of the music here. Although speaking speaking of music, um, there will unfortunately be a uh, <clears throat> a little song later, which unfortunately will have no audio because it's copyrighted. It's just it's just one of them. It's like the only song in Grandia that is actually copyrighted. And there's there's nothing there's nothing we can do about it. Actually, I think it is the only song that's copyrighted. There might be there might be one more. Uh, ah, oh, is there? I'm trying to think now. Is there another song that's copyrighted? I don't think there is. I think this is the only song coming off that's going to be copyrighted. But it's kind of understandable for why, you know, it is. It is a very sad and depressing song. And if you guys notice, in in a lot of like PS1 games and that. The older, the older songs, typically it is the depressing, sad ones that are always right, copyrighted. Like, the ones that always try and inspire emotion in people. It's always, it's always them that end up copyrighted. Right, I need to interact with one of these, and I can't remember which one. I might need to make the bridge mess up first, actually. God damn it, man. God damn it. You just can't avoid these fights. Well, I mean, you could. I'm just bad. And I'm kind of not that bothered if I avoid them or not, to be fair. Oh, can Gadwin get one more hit? Oh my god, Gadwin. No! I wanted Gadwin to get one more hit. He's literally one weapon EXP away from a level up. <sighs> well, next fight it is then, I guess. Let me cross. Okay, nice. We made it. We made it. That's that's fine. Uh, get the gold. Go down the way? Is it down? Mm, yeah, down the way. Dude, they're chasing me. They're actually chasing me all the way. Okay, we got it. We got it. Very nice. I was a little worried that they might uh, they might lunge for me again. Right, uh, you guys remember this boss. It is pretty much completely identical to the one that we just fought. Uh, the only difference is it hits a little bit harder. Not, not a lot, just a little bit. And I think it actually has a little bit more... Um, a little bit more health as well. Dude, stop using criticals, guys. Just use normal attacks. They do more damage overall. More hits, more damage. Okay, well, there's Justin's sword. Oh, I didn't want to sword level up, actually. Oh, that's gonna take... Oh, that means we're gonna... Yeah, it's gonna take even longer to get the skill that I really want. Hmm. Well, it's fine. I suppose it's not too bad since we can't actually learn the skill just yet, so we will have a few more fights in the meantime. And yeah, of course I'm much stronger, Gadwin. I'm like the strongest, dude. That's why I'm gonna save the world, bro. Right, uh, let's see if I remember this. No, I've done that wrong. Shit. I wasn't paying attention to that. I was not paying attention to that at all. Yeah, I just need them all to change places now. Like there. There we go. Alright, so let's go. Oh wait, yeah, I need to press the fourth one. Whoops. <laughs> my bad. My bad. Little little mistake. Look, these things happen. Right, and there's the orb that focuses the power of the spirits. Teleportation orb acquired. Right, now that we have that, we can go back. So we must be getting tired of waiting. Hell yeah, she is. I wonder if it's all right to continue adventures like this. What do you mean? A physician like Dr. Alma might not always be there for us. Even if we make it across the Sea of Mermaids, there's still danger ahead. If anything happens to Sue, I... Mm-hmm. It's all right, Fina. Justin understands too. Hell yeah, he does. Hell yeah, he does. He's also thinking about something. And we're going to see uh, kind of shortly what he's been thinking about. It is kind of funny though when you think about oh, it. Okay, we made it. Man, I always I always hate that run. Because every now and again it will just drop you into a fight. 
Well, it kind of drops you into free fights, but... Yeah, I mean, who, who's counting, right? Who's counting? Please don't aggro me! God damn it. I saw that coming. I, I saw that coming a mile away, to be fair. Oh, <sighs> well, I was I was hopeful. I was hopeful. Unfortunately, my, my hopes didn't quite pan out, unfortunately. Oh, it's not the end of the world. We can we can still make do. Oh, there's still two frogs, really. Gadwin, at least get closer, buddy. If you're gonna if you're gonna try and attack them, yeah, at least at least get closer, dude. You know, so you could actually maybe hit them. Right, oh man, I tell you. I've got so far to go for his weapon EXP. I don't think we're gonna be able, well, actually we might, we might just scrape enough EXP together ready for when we can learn his next two skills. Because they are actually, they are actually coming up. We'll be able to learn his skills pretty soon. And they're also like the two strongest skills in the game. Well, technically they're not. Well, one of them is. One of them is the strongest skill in the game, but the other one, it's it's really broken, but it's not like the strongest. It is very strong, don't get me wrong, and it's also very good for leveling for Justin, but it's not it's not like the strongest. There are other stronger, but they aren't as spammable. It's like the, the skill for Justin, obviously Justin has two skills to learn. The one that needs fire and earth magic, pretty, pretty spammable and pretty broken as well to be fair really good for leveling pretty damn strong and spammable what more do you need to be an absolutely amazing skill you know whereas the other ridiculously overpowered skills they're very expensive on sp like very expensive there's there's one um later called uh neo demon fireball or something like that that's probably wrong that's probably what he shouts actually but yeah, there's, there's a skill like that later on, which is also ridiculously strong. You've got Fina's tier 3 fire spell, which we can't unlock just yet. That is also mega strong. In fact, I think that actually has the highest damage multiplier in the game. Mm. I don't know, actually. It's either, it's either going to be Fina's tier 3 fire spell... Or it's going to be Justin's final skill that is the strongest hit in the game. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure on what the damage multipliers are for them, but it's going to be one of the two. Right, before we carry on though, I'm going to sell a bunch of shit. Especially all the stuff that Gadwin has. Now I'm going to keep the tree amulets. Uh, get rid of that. Uh, yeah, I don't need the far east. Unblocks move. Get rid of that. Army dart. Get rid of that. No, I'm going to keep that, actually. Halfweed can go. Ghost Knife I'll keep. Sickle I'll keep. Spell Block. Yeah, it can go. Wind Charm can go. Lynch Fires can go, because I don't care about them. Right, okay. And now that we've done that, though, I need to go and put the uh, the keys and everything in the stash, because we, we don't need them. We're never going to use them again, basically. It's like, we are, we are done with that hill. Kind of. Uh, tree Amulet. No, I'm going to keep both of them. Wisdom Metal can go in the stash. Spirit Stone can go in. Trust can go in. Army Dart I'll keep. They can go in. And the Teleport Orb I'll keep because that's going to leave my inventory in a minute anyway. Right, let's go get Sue, shall we? Hello, Sue, my dear. Hello. Oh, wait. Shit. Wrong house. Uh -huh. Whoops. Oh, crap. Which one was Alma's? Is this Alma's here? No, that's house four. Oh, it's over the it's over the water, isn't it? Yeah, it's on the other side. God damn it, man. Is it this one? Nope, that's house six. It's this one. The ones with the giant fish heads. We're back, Sue. So, are you all better now? Hey, this is a medical clinic. Could you please keep the noise down? Yeah, I'm sorry for disturbing all your clearly obvious patients, Dr. Alma. Sue has been anxiously awaiting you, Justin. She wants to talk with you privately. Don't worry. We've got the teleportation orb. Let's all cross the Sea of Mermaids. Just... Justin, I... I've decided to stop adventuring until I become an adult. Sue, so, what are you saying? Didn't you get all better here? Are you still sick with something? You don't get the point. Physically, Sue has made a very good recovery. But, if she continues with the adventuring, she'll just become exhausted again. Even if you take it easy on her, she'd still get worn out again eventually. Yes, she seems well again now, but she still must be uh, she must still be frail. 
Yes, that's right. It's like Dr. Alma said. Wait just a second here. What's wrong with everyone? Sue is our friend and companion. Right, Sue? You're feeling fine again, huh, Sue? He's so selfish, man. But this is this is where the this is where I love how the game goes, because he really starts to mature now. Oh, I know I I know I said that earlier. He has matured a bit. This is this is where it gets like kicked up to eleven, basically. No. I've already decided I'm not going on adventures. So He's thinking. Okay, here's what we'll do. I'll stay here with Sue until she's fully ready to go with us. You said it, Sue. Justin, you can't do anything without me, remember? I'll put my adventures on hold, too. No way! Uh-uh, Justin. You have to continue. I say so, okay? Okay? You're a true adventurer. No matter how hard I push myself, I just can't keep up with you. That might also do to be due to the fact, you know, you're like half his hate is hate, Sue. Don't you understand that, Justin? It should be obvious to you. But we can't just leave you here all by yourself. Hmm. In Dyes, we believe it's best if those who are sick go back to their hometown. It's a pawn? We can use the teleportation orb. What? This orb, we can use it to go anywhere we want in an instant. So we should have Sue use it. Yes, let's let the eight-year-old use a mythical ancient teleportation device that's not been used in thousands of years. What could go wrong, right? No, Justin, if I use it, how will you cross the Sea of Mermaids? Are you sure, Justin? This all can only be used once, right? That's right, we can only use it once. So we must use it for the best reason. There we go, man. He's he's maturing. He's maturing. And right now, I can't think of a better reason than to help Sue. Luke, we'll be fine, okay? Difficult crossings are just what an adventurer should expect. And like you said, Sue, I'm a true adventurer. Justin, okay, you're right. Thank you. Okay, let's do it. Yep, and we're back off to the vanishing hill. Here we go, man. Hmm. And then a difficult crossing. Excuse me, but I should say my goodbye is here, so... Uh, you can't go to see me off, Gadwin? Well, it's... It's just that I have another matter to attend to. He's too lazy, guys. We'll meet again, so I'm looking forward to when you become a very pretty lady yourself. Sure I will, and then I'll be sure to come visit you, Gadwin. Hell yeah, you will. I must ask you to see her off for me. I'll wait at the end here and die. Okay, bye, Gadwin. Bye, buddy. It was, it was nice knowing you. Right, what we're going to do now that we've got Sue back in the party, guys, is we're actually going to go into the equipment menu. And we're going to change the angel dart to an army dart. Because, obviously, you know, it's it's worse. And as for the other stuff, yeah, they kind of really don't matter. So I'm just going to leave them on her. Although, what I will say is it should be, it should be pretty clear right now that, unfortunately, Sue will be leaving the party. Now, one of the things that I'm going to say is level Sue, okay? Well, mm -hmm, debatable. Let me, let me explain. I've kind of touched on this before in past videos, but when a character leaves your party for good, right, you will actually get some items in your stash, basically, okay? And these items... They'll basically be one item for each weapon type and magic element. So, for example, Sue has two weapons and four magics. So, when she leaves the party, we'll get six items added to the stash. And those items will be a third of all of Sue's EXP. So, for example, because her fire is level 99, we'll get a book which will give someone 33 levels in fire. So remember, it's a third of her EXP. So what this means is, because she's level 99 in her weapons, fire, water, and earth, we're going to get books for each of them, which gives a guaranteed 33 levels. And that is going to be a major, major boon, okay? Especially the, uh, the throw one. Because there's only one other character in the game that that can be used on, basically. So that is, that is incredibly, incredibly good. And with Sue's fight ability, it is incredibly easy to actually level her weapons and magic up. So hands down, get her stuff to 99. It, it might seem counterproductive to get her to level 99 to give somebody else just 33 levels. But trust me, it makes a difference, okay? 
because the final 33 levels for other characters in all of these things is a lot slower than leveling with Sue, okay? It is, it is quicker to get Sue to 99 with all of her things than it is for, to get like the final 33 levels on another character, okay? Now, you can avoid doing her water and earth magic because they are pretty easy to level for all characters. But since earth is used in fight cheer anyway, you're going to max that out. But I do recommend getting fire and her weapons at the very least, okay? Very, very, very important. Now, wind is the outlier here. Wind is a very tricky one because, unfortunately, Sue does not have an easy way to level wind, okay? So it is going to get to a point where you're only earning one EXP per enemy hit using Sue. And when that happens, her leveling speed will drastically drop. Now, later on, the other characters that we are going to get, not only will one of them actually have a very easy way to level wind, the other one, we can actually use an item that doubles EXP for magic. So, even though we're going to be leveling Sue with one EXP per hit, the other character that I'm talking about later will have not only double EXP equipped, so that would be two EXP instead, but the enemies will also give more EXP. So that's why Wind is one that we can actually ignore. Now, if you want to level it, then go right ahead, but that one is literally, like, I want to say three to four times slower than just leveling the character later. Whereas, as I said, the others like fire, water, earth, and weapons, that is faster. So definitely do them, but ignore wind. Of course, you know, if you don't wanna, if you don't wanna grind like that, that's perfectly fine. But if you are thinking about being level 99 on everything at the end of the game, grind with Sue, it will save you time, it will be faster, okay? Now, with that said, Let's go ahead and save, because I'm going to be ending this one right here. I know, I'm so evil. You want the sappy, horrible goodbye with Sue? Well, I'm sorry to say, but I'm going to make you wait until the next one. But not only is the next one going to have, like, the saddest moment ever, it's also going to have a super, super cute moment as well. Both of those are going to be in the next one, so make sure you tune in to the next part, guys. But for now, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, then please be sure to smash that like button. And of course, drop a comment down below. And for anybody new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well so you don't miss out on any more content. As always, everybody, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.